Fam, what's going on? It's your main man Dame drops back with another food fight. It's been a long time, but that's okay because I have a crazy idea and I'm gonna need your help on this one. I am going to slide to all of these QSR spots and get all of their kids' meals to find out who has the ultimate kids' meal. That's how it's going down. So, our first two contenders we have McDonald's. Versus Burger King, kids meal. Here's the problem right off the top. I'm holding the problem right off the top. Remember when QSR spots actually cared the fact that the kids were getting the meals? McDonald's, what happened, baby? I'm sure a couple of your locations still serve up that nice old Happy Meal box with the McDonald's arches as handles on the top. I remember, matter of fact, my only Happy Meal kids food review that went extra hard years ago has the original box, but this right here, B, you can't even really tell the difference between the kids and the adults anymore. You just give us all the same bag. I believe all locations that want to cater to the kids, you will need to make sure that your packaging caters to the kids. Start there before you even get to the actual toys and the snacks and everything else on the inside. Start with the exterior. This right here, this ain't gonna work. All right, we're gonna go ahead and see what Burger King first has to offer. Again, in the comment section below, what I want you to only do is rate who did it better. Who did the kids meal better? Either put McDonald's in the comment section below or put Burger King in the comment section below. And what's gonna happen, the winner of the two will move on to the next round. However, our next video will be Wendy's kids meal versus Sonic kids meal. And then whoever wins that, will move on to the next, y'all know how to, come on, stop playing. All right, so Burger King has Plant zombies for the game, I like that. A little spoon for the applesauce, I like that. They have that cheeseburger all up in your face up over here, something proper, all right? Definitely have the french fries, french fries holding them down all the way around. And then they have the Capri Sun apple juice. Now let's see what their contender McDonald's has to offer. McDonald's, well, they got the Minute Maid apple juice. Okay, Mickey D's, thinking about the kids with their fries. All right, little cheeseburger. Got action, action pack Batman with some apple slices. I'm gonna just go ahead and mess around and eat these fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know how you do with McDonald's, you just dig in the bag and hit them fries. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, so this is what we have going on. We're gonna start with the burgers. All right, we have the Burger King burger with the sesame seed bun, soft action. The McDonald's burger, no sesame seed bun, softer action on the bun, can't lie. Let's see if we can peel them back. Mm. Ooh, okay, okay. As you see, McDonald's actually offers the onions, chopped up small onions. They both offer the pickle. They both offer processed cheese, and then their beef game laying low underneath. This is the basic burger, McDonald's and Burger King. Let's go in for the bite. Sesame seed bun action from Burger King. Regular bun action from McDonald's. All right, right now we're looking at similar meaty bites. Burger King's beef game is probably like a little bit thicker, but not by much. That pickle brings about nice flavor action between the both. I definitely appreciate the sesame seed bun action blending in well with the Burger King cheeseburger. However, the onions just do it for me on the McDonald's burger with the softness of the bun. Now I know which way I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and give Burger King's cheeseburger, I'm going to mess around, give y'all joint a three and a half, but I'm going to give the McDonald's cheeseburger a four piece. Moving on. You see already off the top, Burger King plays no games. It almost looks like you just ordered a medium fry for a regular size adult. What McDonald's is doing is saying, hey, listen, we want to try to help the kids out a little bit, still provide the French fry game, but we're not going to provide as many French fries. So they're going to go ahead and give them French fry shots. It probably doesn't look small when I hold it up this close to the camera, but when I take it back here, how does it look? Does it look tiny? Yeah. McDonald's has been making changes to make them smaller for the kids. Now let's see where the flavor is. I'm gonna just hold them up like a deck of cards in my hand. 
Did they put any salt on here? No salt whatsoever, huh? No, okay, BK, I see you. McDonald's french fry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> That's the reality of it all. There's not too many spots that beat McDonald's french fries in the head. They're always going to salt up their fries, something proper. This is a, probably a biased decision. I've always liked McDonald's french fries. Burger King had a time where their french fries were banging. To me. It's been a minute. But don't worry about it. It's all right. Burger King, I'm going to give you french fries a three. That's that's what they are to me. Maybe a two and a half. But I'm going to give them a three. They're actually, they're decent. They are, they're all right. McDonald's, the fries are still quite amazing. These french fries go down the right way. I'm telling you right now, your french fries are a problem in the fast food streets. They will always be a problem. Holla at your boy. I'm gonna mess around. I'm gonna give these joints five all day. So Burger King has the plentiful Capri Sun apple juice. McDonald's went with the Minute Maid apple juice. We're gonna find out which one is better. I remember the old Capri Sun days back in the day when I was a young lad. You know what I'm saying? Running the streets with a Capri Sun. I would take it. You always had that sharp edge. You had that sharp edge on your straw just so you could pop that Capri Sun. Something pop. You pop it. Boop, boop, pop it right there. You were good to go. Hit that Capri Sun. Not too shabby. Capri Sun. All right. Mini made apple juice. Let's go. And I remember the old box style too. I mean, I wasn't a hater to box style. I just happened to like Capri Sun better back in the day. And we all know this. And if you don't know, you're going to find out the hallway. Do not squeeze the box after you pop the top. Don't do that. It's going to get all over the place. Don't, don't do that. These boxes were not made with the thought of it's going to make a mess. Yeah, don't squeeze it at all. Just keep it light in your hands. Don't, 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 don't squeeze it. Just hit that thing. So between the Burger King Capri Sun apple juice and the Minute Maid McDonald's apple juice, yo, these both, both of them, both of them are four piece in the street. They're both decent. Not bad. I'm no hater whatsoever. I thought I was gonna like the Capri Sun a little bit better, but the Capri Sun has a different type of flavor to it where it's letting me know that this is gonna be great for the kids. And yet, the Minute Maid 100% apple juice, I don't know why y'all like saying 100%, but the Minute Maid apple juice is somewhat cruising down the same street with a hint of extra sweetness. Now, right now, right, right, we're doing that right now. Right, 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 right now. All this parking lot, you just right here. Mad, crazy, mad, dumb parking lot, you just right here. Just all this parking lot, just word. Can I finish my video, B? Sorry about that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They, they cleaned the parking lot, greatly understood, but the video must go on. So we turn the AC on, we roll the windows up, and we keep it popping. All right, y'all, you know what time it is. A little bit of that McDonald's apple slices and Burger King's apple sauce. Do you prefer apple sauce or do you prefer apple slices? That's what it comes down to. Can't possibly go wrong with an apple slice. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hit that thing. Kind of good. Okay. McDonald's with your little apple slice. I see you. Mm -hmm. Maybe things are going down right now. And this is all natural Mott's applesauce. I remember back in the days when mama used to hook up breakfast for your boy, you know what I'm saying? I was like five, six years old. She hit me with the scrambled eggs with cheese, right? And she would always put applesauce, Mott's applesauce on the side of the scrambled eggs. So I would actually mix the two together and eat that right there. You probably sitting there with that side face like, word, they ain't no word, you gotta try it. Scrambled eggs with cheese. My preference, Velveeta. <laughs> Velveeta make it sweeter. Velveeta make it more better. You dig? And then hit it with a little bit of applesauce and mix that around. Blah, hit that thing one time. Mm hmm. This ain't the mouths I remember. <coughs> oh, that was too natural. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, shoot. It's for the kids, dang. For the kids. I, I took one for the kids on that one because I'm going to stick with the apple slice. Apple slices, Mickey D's, four and a half. Mott's applesauce. Oh, I broke up my whole voice piece. Mott's applesauce over here, BK. 
Dum dum <laughs> three ish. Don't hate. I do. It's not. I do hate. It's. I'm. I'm. I'm mad. It should not be that nasty. It's natural. It's naturally nasty. <laughs> My bad, kids. My bad. Eat your apples. Eat your apples. Don't be like me. Let's get down to the toys. That's what we're here for, right? Uh, uh. Let's get down with the toys. Woo! That's what we're here for, right? Just, I just hit y'all with the P. Diddy. I don't even know. Burger King came with the plants versus zombies game. Yeah, back up. Back up off me. Back up off me. Uh, back up off me. Uh, hold them. Hold them biscuits. Uh, back up off me. Another shot. Another shot. Uh, uh, another shot. Back up. I killed him. Back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, did he die? Yeah, yeah, boy. Look, you slam it down like Domino. Uh. All right. Now let's break out the Dark Knight. Uh, Batman. Yo, is is this? A oh shoot! Waterless tattoo. Y'all thought I was playing games. Waterless tattoo. So the way this joint works, I wish I had some water. You don't need no water. It's waterless tattoo. <laughs> Shut up! Press down evenly on the back of the tattoo for 30 seconds. Press down for an additional 10 seconds. The corner you intend to peel the tattoo from. Waterless tattoo. I'm a thug. I'm gonna put it on my face like a teardrop. No. <laughs> Y'all see that? Applying this tattoo, baby. This McDonald's tattoo of Batman. I'm applying it to the skin. It's like a teardrop. So hold, I, it down. hold it down. Hold it down for what, 30 seconds? That's what I said. 30, hold it down for 30 seconds, and then another 10. Give me some time. <laughs> eh, McDonald's better work, yo. <laughs> what up, B? This right here, that tattoo, that Batman tattoo. If you ain't got a Batman tattoo, you ain't living right. Boom, get it, get it, boom, boom, get it, get it. Oh, 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 action Batman. Yeah, yo. Action Batman, what up? Yeah, what up? You should be able to put this in his hand. Like so. Ready? And I should be able to throw it. All right, so. That's what Batman does. He's supposed to throw it. I, I'm not doing it right, but whatever. Mickey D's, I like this little action-packed Batman. He all right. He all right. And he comes with a tattoo, baby. You can't possibly go wrong with a waterless tattoo. So for your little Batman action figure, blah, blah, Batman, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, though? We're going to give him a straight four piece and a half for the tattoo. That's four and a half for my main man, action-packed Batman. All right, y'all. In the comment section below, I want you to vote who did it better, Burger King or McDonald's. Burger King or McDonald's in the comment section below. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to tally up all of your votes and then that winner, whether it's Burger King or McDonald's, will go off into our next round. Our next food fight will be between Wendy's Kids Meal and Sonic Kids Meal to find out who goes up against our winner from this particular food fight. You enjoyed this video, hit it with a thumbs up. But if you hate the video, hit it with a thumbs down. And my tattoo, just be like, boo, boo, boo. You know how we get down, baby. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh. Look at the tattoo. More. And more, and more, super, super official. Four of these kids, digging baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. 
And don't forget to subscribe wherever it pops up. It's gonna be like a little ball with my face on it. Just click that subscribe. Y'all been showing your boy crazy dumb love. I wanna thank you for watching my videos. You could be anywhere in the world, but you right here rocking out with me. If you're new to the Foodie Fam, much love to every last one of you. Shemaine Man Dame Drops. Do not forget, this Thursday, this Thursday, this Thursday, at 7 p.m. for those of you that will be either in the Connecticut area or you live in Connecticut, slide down to 1638 Boston Post Road, Milford, Connecticut, Plan B Burger Bar and Grill because all this week they're having bacon week But on that particular night it is Dame Drops meet and eat you can come have dinner with your boy I'm not paying for your dinner, but you can come through and have dinner with your boy rock out with me We can take pictures. We can bug out have a good time You know what I'm saying? So I'll look forward to seeing any last one of you in the spot so we can do what we do, baby It's crazy energy crazy love and I'm only here right now in this place because every last one of you holla at your boy And I'll see you next week Super official food review.